Welcome to the Skein Witch YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia, or Allie for short. If you like talking yarn, crochet, knitting, and all things crafty, definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me, my pretty. <laughs> Welcome back to podcast number 10. If you are new here, welcome. A quick little intro. My name is Alicia. You can call me Allie. I live in New York on Long Island and I am a hairdresser by day, crafter by night. I do pretty much any kind of crafting thing. I think most of us crafters tend to do a lot of crafts and not just one. So knitting right now is my primary focus. It's what I've been doing a lot lately. I started with crochet and now I'm really into sewing. So all around just a spooky crafter. Today we have episode 10. It has been quite a minute since I've recorded a podcast. So I'm excited that I have some time. If you guys hear some background noise, I apologize. I am recording this while my family's home. So just a little heads up if you hear some weird things. I don't have any finished objects right now. I have plenty of whips, so let's hop right into the whips. I do try to link everything down in the description. If there's anything that I missed that you want to know, shoot me a comment and I will let you know whatever it is you want to know. Some whips ha are, are going to be sitting for a little bit because I have one whip that is like my primary focus. So yeah. My first whip here, this is the, I'm going to have it come up down here because I don't know how to pronounce that. It is a tang top. Um, this is in the Shark Week colorway by Mesa Skeins. I just don't like the way that this tank top fits. I All I have to do really is the other arm, the other arm uh, ribbing and then the neck ribbing and then this one would be done. Actually, no, I don't think there's neck ribbing on this one, but I, I tried it on. I don't like the way that it sits. I love the yarn. Mesa Skeins did such a beautiful job on this colorway. I just, I think I might frog this one entirely. This took me forever because this is fingering weight, so it took me forever to do, but the fit is just so weird. I think I did too big of a size. I don't know. I just don't like it. So I might frog this. I'm still kind of thinking about it. I was thinking maybe I should finish the arm and then kind of go from there. I think what I did is I might have made the armholes way too big. I mean, it looks fine on this side, but then it's like a little bit like bunched up. I don't know if you could tell. See, it's like very, very flabby. I mean, that might come out in blocking. But I don't know. I'm just not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of tank tops in general. So that could also be it. Um, the pattern was super easy to read. Like I said, it was just fingering weight, so it took me forever. So this one might be frogged. I don't know yet. So we'll see. And that is actually living in this gorgeous little bag. I'm going to show you guys my project bags today because I have all my projects actually in project bags, which is new for me. Uh, so this project bag is from Loch Nitz. They have an Etsy shop and I'll make sure to link them down below. It's just this cute flamingo bag. Very summery. I thought it was super cute. I love the little lace. Very, very cute. It's got some flannel on the inside. Really cute. Love it. Uh, it has been holding this project ever since I got it. So loving that. Definitely check out Loch Nitz. She's also from The Woolies, if you don't know. If you don't know, definitely go watch The Woolies. They're one of my favorite podcasts. They're amazing. My next whip, well, actually, I guess I did that in the wrong order. This whip is my longest going whip currently. It's living in my Black Pearl Magic pink bag. I forget what uh, collection this was from, but it's just clear and then pink on the other side. This is the shawl size. Sorry if you could hear my bird. I think this is the shawl size bag. I forget. It's the bigger, the bigger of the two bags that she makes. This bag is holding 
my Brookline dress. And again, I'll have all that information come up down here. And I kind of paused on working on this. This is going to be a long going whip because it is a dress and it's going to take me quite a few. Uh, this is Moira's, R Moira's Rose Garden. And I believe this was by Murray and Company, if I'm wrong. Actually, I have the yarn right here. Yeah, so Murray and Company, and it is Moira's Roses Garden. I don't think they are selling this yarn anymore. I could be wrong. If they are, I'll link it down below. If they aren't, they still have beautiful, beautiful colorways that you should go check out. And I really do love this a lot. Um, I do have two more skeins, so I think that's going to be plenty to make it about, I want to make it like a, a little bit above knee uh, height, so I got some time on that one. Hopefully I'll have it done by the fall. That is my goal, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It'll just be something I work on. It's a very mindless knit at this point because now I'm just literally knitting the bottom. So yeah, I knit on this whenever I'm like, whenever I need something I'm really not going to think about, you know, long car ride type knitting. My next, um, whip is this gorgeous, gorgeous thing. This is, um, the Love Magic sweater. And this is in the yarn from, I said it wrong the entire video when I went over this yarn, Hout Knit Yarn, I believe. Hout Knits, I think. I'll have it all linked down below. Again, I apologize if I mispronounce it again. I'm horrible at reading and actually saying words, so I apologize. But I'm holding two of their colorways to get, not together, but I'm alternating. So this is I believe which is brew and I forget what this one's called again I'll have it all down below it's freaking gorgeous though and I'm loving the way that it's knitting up it's such a crazy crazy sweater and I kind of like looked back and I'm like would I wear this yeah absolutely I would love to wear this so this is gonna have beautiful big balloon sleeves they're not balloon sleeves but they're like the flare sleeves if you've never seen this pattern definitely check it out. They also just released a Love Magic dress, which I am living for, but I cannot cast on another dress until I finish the current dress that I'm working on. Um, so yeah, so that had, that, this was actually my knit that I was like primarily focusing on at first, but it is sitting for a little bit because this other knit has priority. Oh, and this is just sitting in a bag that I made. I have some exciting news to share with you all at the um, not so yarny related part. I'll wait till then to talk about it. Um, but I made this bag. It's just a, a, a boxed bag. It's super cute. I just had some leftover fabric and I threw that together. It's not very practical because I don't have anything to like carry it with. I kind of wish that I, um, put like some sort of like handle or something. I didn't think to do that. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a makeup bag, but I don't know. I obviously put my yarn in it. So I guess this is a, a finished object if we want to talk finished objects. So yeah, just living in that. Oh, I got this yarn falling all over the place. I'm also being very risky because I don't have any needle stoppers on any of my projects right now. I like, I lost all of my needle stoppers. I don't know where any of them are. So yeah, so they're all just like no needle stopper. Also, I got these new, um, I mean, it's been a while since I've had them. It's the Likey, uh, Likey Copper Cy Cypra something like that. Um, I'll make a review video if you all want to see that. Um, and I'll talk about them a little bit. I was only knitting with Chow Goose.
for a long time and then I switched over to um, the Cy Cypress, I think it's called. So my final whip that I'm really, really excited about that I have been, like I said, this is the only whip that I really have been working on. This is my carved pullover and this is for the Pretty Twisted Yarn Spooky Knit Along. I think it's called. I think that's what the hashtag is. So PTY Spooky Sweater Knit Along. That is the hashtag on Instagram. Teresa from Pretty Twisted Yarns is doing this knit along. And this is what I have so far. It's kind of hard to see because I have it bunched up on smaller cable, on a smaller cable. But this yarn is from Pretty Twisted Yarns. This is her colorway. Um, Orange is the new black. It was actually released as a sock set. So I had asked her to make me a sweater quantity and now she's selling sweater quantities. So if you want this beautiful orange is the new black, go check out her website. I think she might have some on there. I, I don't know if she, if she doesn't, but if she does go check it out. And I thought that this would be super cute to do this little orange and then the black ribbing. And then this colorway is just gorgeous. I am knitting it um, double. I'm holding it double because I only had fingering weight. I think now she does have DK. Don't get me, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I believe she has DK now. So if you're into DK knitting, definitely get on that. I personally have been loving DK yarn. It just knits up so fast. And being that I'm a slow knitter, I need that little that little handicap to help me. So yeah, again, it's really hard to see and I don't want to accidentally drop some stitches, but this is the eyeball and it's coming out spooky and I love it and I can't wait. I'm almost near the part that we start separating for sleeves. So that is really, really exciting. And this is living in my bag from my friend Carly. Carly has a shop and their shop is Carly's Handmade Bags. I'll have, again, everything linked down below. So they made me this beautiful Halloween spooky, spooky bag. It matches perfectly, so I am absolutely obsessed. This is their larger bag, I believe, and it's amazing. It's got cute little handles. It is a drawstring. I talked about this on my last video. They also gave me a coupon code, and I believe it's still up and working. The coupon code is WITCH15, capital, all caps, 15. And that, I believe, is 15% off your order. So go get yourself a nice bag. They got some spooky patterns on there, and you know all about it. So, yeah. I do have this whip which I talked about on my last podcast. This is the Celeste T. And this is in the colorway Animal Cookie by Mesa Skeins. I don't believe she's selling this colorway anymore. I think that was just for the summer. So yeah, I was working on this quite a bit. And then I started working on like my fall knits. So this one, I will have it done. It's just not, just not in the cards right now. But I am obsessed with this colorway. I'm obsessed with the pattern. It's definitely a pattern that you have to pay attention to. And this is my first time doing any kind of, I guess this would be lace work. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of just hanging out in my bag. That will be when I have a little bit more brain power to focus on it. And again, this is also in Carly's handmade bags. Uh, this, I believe, is their smaller size. I mean, you all know that I couldn't resist a spooky witch bag. Like, they're spooky witches. How would I, how would I say no? So, bought myself that beautiful little witch bag. And it's so cute. It's got one little handle. Drawstring bag. Super easy to pull the drawstrings. Um... I've noticed that that is a new pet peeve of mine. I like easy pull 
drawstrings. So yeah, that is all my whips right now. Let's jump right into not so yarny related. And first I'll show you this, which is definitely not yarny related, but I know all my spooky friends are going to love this. I'm going to say that this is an early birthday gift to myself. My birthday is in February, but I'm still going to say it's an early birthday gift. How amazing is this bag? Um, this is from a Instagram shop or an Instagram page, my elec eclectic mind. I can't say that word. They hand paint these bags. Um, it's a, it's a small bag, but it's cute. And then on this side, I have my cute Bath and Body Works PSL hand sanitizer thingy. Uh, this, this is so cute. I love this. Um, and I believe this is holding vampire blood. So yeah. And then on top of that, they had some wallets and I am a little bit crazy when it comes to pocketbooks. I need a matching wallet. So this is the wallet. I guess this is considered a wristlet, but how freaking cool. So absolutely obsessed, amazing quality, hand painted. It's good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, not yarny related at all, but it's spooky. So I figured you all would like that or enjoy that. All right, so the other thing that I have been really excited to share with you all is, apologize for my bird, because you could definitely hear him. I see it on the computer screen that you all can hear him. I am super, super excited to let you all know that I have been making project bags and I will be selling my project bags. And I'm currently working on a website. I didn't realize how much goes into making a website. So it's taking me a lot longer than I wanted to, but I am hoping, 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 fingers crossed, that my website will be up and running by next Saturday. Next Saturday is the 27th of August. If I get it up by then, um, I obviously will be posting about it throughout the week. Uh, if I don't get it up by then, I'm hoping then September 3rd, without a doubt, it'll be up. My first launch will be September either 27th or 3rd. But anyways, let me stop yapping and I'll show you all the project bags. These are on the go project bags. So here is my first bag. You put it on your arm like so, and then you'll have your yarn and then you can knit and walk with it. The other great part is that it has these clasps here. So you can put your project in there and then you can wrap the bag and secure your project in the bag. And it'll just be like a little like ball. I have these buttons on here. So this, I, hopefully you could see it. They're, they're just faux buttons just to cover the clasps and then you just clasp it shut. So it's very, very easy. And this one's fancy because it has little studs on the side. Um, I also have my little iron-on logo here. Um, and this is in my small size or my sock size. It's definitely for smaller projects, you know, maybe even just new cast-ons. Once I launch the site, I will go into a little bit more detail. My little iron-on logo. Oh, what I was gonna say is my my logo now, when I put them on bags, I sew the logo on, but the first couple of bags, I did not do that. Um, but yeah, so this one has like really cute rhinestones on it. Again, I will go into more detail on um, a different video, but I just wanted to show you some of the patterns and whatnot. So two of the same. These are my large size bags uh, or my shawl size. So they are a bit bigger than the sock size. Um, and then this is in this cool glow in the dark ghost pattern. I am obsessed. So it is a little bit bigger than the shawl size. I didn't want to make it massive either because again, this is with the idea that you will be holding this on your arm while you're walking, you know, whatever. So I didn't want to make them massive, uh, but it is a good size and you could definitely fit a good amount in there. Um, again, a another thing too, 
All the bags have a little pouch or a little pocket. And then the other thing too is that when you are sitting down, it will just kind of stand up when you have yarn in here. So I thought that was pretty cool. So again, like I said, I will go into more detail in another video. If I'm launching on Saturday, I'll have the video up Wednesday. So if it doesn't happen this week, it'll happen next week. I apologize for the uncertainty. I think that that's super unprofessional, but um, I am just a girl who's trying to figure out how to manage a website and do all that stuff. This is my first time ever doing this kind of thing, so please bear with me. And then I also have this really cute one. So these are all not finished. I still have to put the buttons on these, um, but here is this one. So just a cool small sock size bag. Got this pattern. Here's another, here's another, here's another. And then these are just, these are the same. So yeah, I have been, that has been what I've been working on lately. So that's why even my knitting has kind of been slow going because I have been working on these bags and working on the website. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Like I said, I will go into more detailed, uh, I will do a more detailed video when the time comes, but I'm excited to show you all. I was very nervous to even think about selling bags, um, but I have to say my beautiful friends, Crafted by the Fates, Big Knit Energy, they both uh, got the first testers. I sent them both two bags and they both really convinced me to go for it and try it out and just kind of see where things go. So thank you both so much for pushing me to actually do it because I don't think I would have. That is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this podcast. I'm sorry that I haven't podcasted in a while. This is why my videos have been very short and sweet lately because anytime I do get a second to record, I record for a little bit and then immediately go back to working on the bags and my knitting. So yeah, sorry for not posting last week either. Uh, last week got a little crazy. Um, I do think I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Again, that giveaway will kind of happen when the website is going. So keep an eye out for a good giveaway. Just saying, just saying. I am also going to be making a bag for somebody that will also be a part of a giveaway, but I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to say that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this podcast. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye. <laughs>